Hi guys, how are you doing? Mkoje? It's your homegirl Masi Anjere and I'm back again with an interesting video. Kawa kawa ida. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing and commenting. Musiwa ichoka na musiwa itens. Let's keep sharing our content. Let's keep subscribing, liking and sharing to the person next door. So today's video is about forgiveness and i have asked my friends a question has anyone ever hurt them and they never said sorry did they forgive them if yes why if no why didn't they forgive them yeah i'll start with me forgiveness is personal uh, when you forgive you free yourself you are a prisoner and when you forgive someone you free yourself my mantra is always being the bigger person when someone has wronged me i'll take my time and go and apologize yes i apologize so personally forgiveness is personal and it frees you from other things because he or she is peaceful they're just enjoying life and you are here like umenuna umenuna atijumta mekukosea na wow they are just enjoying life as the bible says forgive and forget iyo pati ya kuforget ndi kuna shida so let's see what my friend said i hope you will enjoy this video and you will learn one or two things my name is kevin minor and um masi did ask me a very interesting question um have i ever been wronged by someone and if so uh, first of all did they say sorry and did i forgive them or did i not so explain and talk about forgiveness uh, in like three or two minutes so hopefully i'll do that um yes i have been in a situation where i have been wronged many a times i'd say without being told sorry uh more often than not these situations they the people who wrong me they don't do it they don't seem to have done it intentionally like that one of like i want to hurt you intentionally they might even have done it out of goodwill and yet it hurt me as well i may not give specific instances um or what happened or mention names but definitely i have been wronged one of them was in a relationship i was wronged um without being told sorry and life seemed to move on but I would say I did forgive the the person who wronged me, and um, I think for me that that if I'd explain the main reason why I'm always I wouldn't say quick to forgive, but eventually forgiving, is because it's always strenuous to me to or even difficult to hold on to something that has already been done. One thing I realized that I beat myself up more than the other person even seems to realize. Remember I told you like these people who wronged me, they didn't seem to have noticed like they have wronged me. So it's something that just they did and it ended up hurting me. So you can imagine I'm holding on to that. This person hasn't even the slightest idea that they have wronged me, but I'm holding on to it as if, you know, as if, um, yeah, as if I hate them forever. So I do tend to forgive and rather as, as fast as I can so that it stops taking a toll on my soul because I am one to hold on to things and not forget easily so sometimes I always tell people I'll forgive you but you can be sure I will not forget it because it's one thing to forgive it's another to forget so you'll always that means you'll always be cautious with this person because part of you or part of your trust towards them has been tainted so i'm always like okay fine i forgive you what not we are easy but do know that i do not trust you for now in that regard so to answer the question yes i have been wrong without an apology many times sometimes even with my own family members um but i don't think i am one to hold on to things to such an extent where i like i never forgive them sometimes you just have to let it go for your own peace eh, masi, forgiveness eh? forgiveness i think um that's the toughest question that you've asked today because eh, forgiveness forgiveness in my head i'm like eh, you know it's that serious so uh, 
forgiveness is like a kitu complicated sana but it depends on <laughs> it depends on maybe the level of offense that person has had on you and uh, also to forgive it can be easy as nimekusamehea tu ni sawa pole tumesamehana that's okay and yes there's that pole tumesamehana nini nini but then again there's the healing part you know i can forgive you with words but i have not healed so i think that's where the issue comes in because when the healing uh, takes a lot takes a lot of energy takes a lot of prayer uh, takes a lot of i don't know yani inataka tu effort ingine i'm not even able to talk about so have i been hurt before of course that goes without saying i mean uh atam kiwa tu mabeshti yani with your girl pals uh, in one way or, or another mnapata gatu mme clash kidogo maybe there's some bit of friction either from petty issues or serious issues but whichever uh, you always find a way to forgive each other and move on past the mistake so once i forgive someone i would say that the relationship would either be stronger or weaker that's the thing so you know um you tend to become a bit cautious or a lot yani ukians you'll start be like uh unaanza ku check out for telltale signs you know if you see like a trend uh of something that led to the heart unaanza ku kuji isolate ama kuji distance so yes i can forgive you but it only makes you wiser if, if or maybe um it makes you more cautious you know so that you're able to discern more to learn more you know and i came to realize there yes, there are some people there you forgive and you keep your distance and you love them from afar you don't hate them you love them you want the best for them but it's better off if they're not with you and there's some others who maybe it is a petty issue you can just brush it off and move on just like all times so i think the forgiveness is a broader topic and that's my point of that uh, hi guys unfortunately i was supposed to do this and i'm still going to say i was supposed to <laughs> <laughs> but uh, forgiveness for me okay people wrong me every single day um, it's normal and uh, unfortunately let me just say unfortunately i have to forgive them because mm, what i learned about forgiveness is not about the other person more it's about you and uh, god offers us grace and i believe we're supposed to offer grace to others because all of us strong him in one way or another so yeah forgiveness is more about the other person and i'd love to get deep into this title but unfortunately i'm also out in progress of forgiveness i have my own issues about forgiveness so yeah that's all that's all that's all thank you hi guys hope you are all well so frida has anyone ever wronged you and they didn't say sorry did you forgive them yes i did mm -hmm. i did because i love god mm -hmm. i love people mm -hmm. i love caring about people uh -huh. so i forgive them because i would love to be united with people not just walking around people just saying look at that girl uh -huh. she has a bad heart no uh -huh. i wouldn't love that uh -huh. i would love people to get an example from me uh -huh. not because i'm perfect uh -huh. but i know that i can do anything good uh -huh. that people can be motivated with hey yes. okay thank you frida you're welcome anytime bye bye My name is Charles and today we are talking about a very sensitive subject on the issue of forgiveness and the normal or the usual question to come to mind is has anyone uh, wronged you? For me, yes, so many people have wronged me. Uh, I even lost count. But on the flip side, I too have wronged myself 
and I choose to talk about the latter because I feel it's it's a uh, it's something that can really take a huge toll on someone if if they're not careful. And yes, I did forgive myself, but I have to say it took me four years to forgive myself. And uh, you see, when when it's somebody else who's wronged you, you have to one of two options. I have the option of either you know just saying this person is dead to me. I do not care about them. I do not want to see their faces. And I will walk away. Or number two, I have the option of forgiving them and just saying, you know, you, you've screwed up, but we chilled, we're good, everything is okay. But now, in the case that uh, when it was uh, I who had wronged myself, now you only have one option, and that one option is to forgive yourself. And should, uh, for most people who don't take up that option that they, yeah, that they have, then they end up, you know, dealing with the rest of their lives, wondering, um, what if I did, or you live the rest of your life trying to fix that which you have tried to avoid for so many years. And number two, second reason why I forgive myself is because when you haven't, you have so much baggage that you have to deal with because uh, this is you who's angry at yourself, this is you who's very unforgiving towards yourself. Then the normal thing to do is you will be so devastated about you that you, can, you, you just cannot. Let, let let this go or you can't move on to the next phase without having uh, having to sort out this and so again i was not ready to take i, I did not even have the luxury of time to take all that time so i had to uh, accept that it's okay i mean just as everyone else would wrong me i too can fail myself i too can wrong myself and i it's okay to be angry at myself it's okay to be resentful towards myself but it doesn't have to stop there I have to now take it a notch higher and now find ways to get beyond that and then thirdly is because you see in a case where I'm to I am fail I am wrong like you can go tell a friend and maze I am one two three things and somehow they'll, you'll find a way out of it but now this is a case where it is you now every margin when I could stack you could be stay at home at him as an image I have wronged myself in one two three ways like it just doesn't make sense so the normal tendency is you have you to tell about yourself and you have you to process about yourself and get out of it the lessons I learned is it takes patience and it takes a lot of effort for others it's not really it may not really take time or as much time let me put it that way based on the nature or the gravity of the wrongs they've done but in your case it will shake even the innermost of your being because this is something that you have to do and and, and uh, you have to be very patient through the process you have to allow yourself to feel what it is Barizenu, Kate, has anyone ever wronged you and they did say sorry? Yes, Wengi sana. Did you forgive them? No, Sija why? Why? Because one thing, me napenda, kisha nikosea, uh, uaccept umekosea mtu. So after that, at least, utakuja, utakua, uta cool down, ukuje u apologize, and then we talk, yu kitu ishe. Wow, okay Kate, thank you very much, bye. You're welcome. Bye. Hi. So it's another beautiful day and I just came here to tell you one or two things because Najwa may watch whatever my friend said about forgiveness and I hope you learn one or two things from them. Before you before I go, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing, keep sharing uh, and what? Yeah, follow me on Instagram at Anjere Masi, Facebook Masi Anjere. Let's socialize, let's talk, let's ride together. Thank you so much. And to my friends who sent me the forgiveness videos, thank you so much. I really appreciate. Till next time. Bye.